So I will speak about this. Uh, this uh, um, adaptive testing system. Well, actually, this is not my system. Uh, well, I was asked to present it by the company 1C, which is uh, um, very actively working in producing uh, educational software for, well, 20 years, maybe. So our, one of the most interesting products of this company is uh, called MathKit. There is a poster there, which is a dynamic mathematics program. And uh, it is used in this system, too. And uh, so what I'm doing there is MathKit. But uh, I would like to talk about this, so, and uh, I will shortly explain what is this about. Um, So, uh, this system um, is designed for the following purpose. Uh, it has a database of problems which are uh, suggested to students of 5th, 6th grade. And the author is, as you see, Professor Rodionov from Penn State University. And the implementation is by this company. Uh, so by looking at the results of solving these problems, uh, the system creates the giftedness profile of a kid. So uh, when we say giftedness, when I say giftedness here, the, uh, it is giftedness as a, OK, giftedness, it can be negative, I mean. Uh, so the, the more like the ability, not the gift, just the giftedness. Uh, so by the model uh, developed by Professor Rodionov, there are three levels by which uh, they determine this giftedness. It, it is a sum or a combination of three. Uh, one level is training level, so what does a kid know? by the moment of this testing, the other is edu educational activity, and the third one is cognitive component, how a uh, student is interested, uh, motivated, and uh, so on. So these are the, uh, this, uh, the articles, the papers by Rodionov, in which he describes this model. So how does it work? Uh, first, there is a student is given a diagnosis test by which uh, the giftedness profile is created which is on the left so there are those three circles and uh, for each circle there is a rectangle which represents the level of uh, students ability are concerned with, uh, related to this circle then uh, the student the system creates a sequence of problems for the student, which are designed so as to raise those parts of this profile that are low. And after going through these problems, uh, it is a again, the profile is, me is measured, and it's supposed that the student will, uh, well, will this, some inequality will be corrected, so the weak parts will be strengthened. Uh, this is a, uh, these are examples uh, from uh, this test. And the examples are just created with the MathKit software uh, because it, the, I will say just a few words about the software. Well, when it was created, the, the main purpose was to make a software, which is dynamic mathematics, but it was more maybe not for teaching, for using in teaching process, but for making models. Because it is a company which makes educational software, it needed many models, and they needed their own software to produce these models. So in a way, uh, this system is very convenient for making models. Uh, the interface, maybe it is a little bit overloaded, but when you master it, you can do everything very quickly. And uh, tests, and uh, I don't know, anything, constructive uh, testing, construction, problems, and so on, so on. I will not go into details, but uh, you can, there are um, this uh, booklets, whatever, I don't know, materials about this. 
uh, program, you can take them and uh, go to the site. There are now this is about uh, version six, but uh, this year version seven will appear, which will be in web and uh, um, tablet and so on. So, uh, so these are examples of tasks. For example, there uh, on on the left, on the left, uh, there are four points, vertices of a square, and one must draw a closed uh, line polygon that goes through all the four vertices, uh, the one of the smallest length. And uh, then the program checks if, if the answer is correct. Uh, and uh, finally, uh, this, is, uh, the, this system was tested. Uh, it has been developed for 10 years. When it was studied, there was no math kit on a different basis. Um, but just in, in May of this year, April, May, there was testing. And this is, uh, these are results of one of the students. That was uh, initial, in the middle you see the initial uh, profile, which is only one rectangle of three possible. And after going through those exercises, that this is the final profile. So something, as we can expect, has improved. Uh, as in conclusion, I want to say that uh, from my long experience of working with the producing educational software, I have, well, it became clear to me that there must be three components to make it uh, successful, really. Uh, so one is a, a software company which is very professional in producing software. The other one is a connection to, ped to pedagogical, uh, close connection to pedagogical society. And uh, it's very good that recently such a connection with the uh, uh, University of Education has been established just this, this year or previous year. And so now we are preparing future teachers in the university, uh, we teach them how to use dynamic mathematics in their work. And the third component is publishers who are publishing textbooks. But this component is missing uh, for us now, and uh, this is a big problem, and I don't know how it can be solved, because publishers have their own interests. So that's all that I wanted to say. Yeah. Okay, thank you.